Hey everyone, you're watching Bookwork. Today's book is The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. The book shares a six step morning routine to transform your life. So, what is that you do first thing in the morning? Hit the snooze button, checking your phone, scrolling down on social media, checking WhatsApp, or reading email. Whatever you do in the morning, it matters. The mornings are where the magic begins. Spending your mornings in a productive way can create momentum that leads to a successful day. If you start your day with stress or other people's demand, you can expect the same stress throughout the day. Have you observed this? When you start your day in a lousy state, your whole day will be lousy. So how you wake up each day and what you do first thing in the morning, it affects your levels of success in other areas of your life. How you start your day sets the tone for how the rest of your day unfolds. So the principle is this. The way you do one thing is the way you do every other thing. Getting up on time is a discipline, right? You need determination. You must fight the inertia. You know, mind over mattress. You need personal power to do this. And this personal power will help you in other areas of your life as well. So focused, productive, successful mornings generate focused, productive, successful days, which inevitably create a successful life. So by changing the way you wake up in the morning, you can transform any area of your life. So that is what this book is promising. So you know, it's not easy for everyone to get up in the morning with a smile, right? But, you know, we have to take responsibility. If you really want to change your life, we need to take complete responsibility. What does it mean? Committing yourself to getting up earlier than your regular time. It's a good challenge to start with, right? It improves your personal power. If you continue to do the same thing, you'll continue to get the same result, right? The famous quote. So if you want different results in life, we must do things differently. So you can't have a truly extraordinary life if you are starting every single day you know, you know, with stress and in a lousy state, rushed or lethargic. You know, it doesn't happen. So what I like about this book is you know, there are no hacks, right? You must do the work, self-work. Book gives you a ton of practical steps which will give you result in the long run. And the book asks you to take a 30-day challenge which I highly recommend you to do, to see real transformation. So the crux of the book is this. It talks about six powerful practices we must do every day before 8 a.m. to transform our life. Life savers. The six life savers are, the first letter, S. S for silence. A for affirmation. V for visualization. E for exercise, R for reading, and S for scribing. I'll explain each one in detail. Let's start with the first letter, yes, S for silence. Starting your day with silence, self time, your me time, it's very powerful. Now the benefits of silence have been well documented throughout the ages, from the power of prayer to the magic of meditation, now, some of the greatest minds in history have used silence to transcend their limitations and create extraordinary results. We need to slow down, take some time for silence every morning and allow ourselves to connect to something bigger than ourselves. It can be meditation, it can be mindfulness, it can be prayer, it can be deep breathing, it can be self-reflection, it can be focusing on things you are grateful for, it can be even sipping water slowly, mindfully, right? So when you intentionally silence your mind, it creates many benefits, health and performance benefits. You know, from stress reduction to better concentration, a lot of health benefits. It improves your self-awareness and clarity. So instead of feeling hectic, stressed or lethargic, you'll find yourself feeling calm, peaceful and rejuvenated first thing in the morning. So make it part of your morning ritual. So we have to connect to our source. We can spend minimum five minutes to say 15 minutes you know, based on 
the time you have every day for this activity. The second one, A, is for affirmation. Affirmations are one of the most effective tools to program our minds. So every one of us talks to ourselves non-stop. Even now you're talking to yourself, right? What is this guy talking about? See, most of the self-talk is negative, right? So affirmations are positive self-talk. Your self-talk has a dramatic influence on your level of confidence, your, your happiness level, all major areas of your life. So with enough repetition, your subconscious mind will begin to believe what you repeat and eventually manifest in your reality. If you get up every day and say that I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I don't know why I'm here on this planet, that will become your reality, right? But if you get up and say that I'm smart and you know, all those positive things, it will have an impact, right? So constant repetition, it will change your thoughts, beliefs and your behavior. So my favorite affirmation, which I practice every day, I, I learned it from Mel Robbins. It's this, you know, put your hand on your heart and say, I'm safe, I'm okay, I'm love. You, know, you can create your own affirmations. You can read out your goals, you know, if you have some goal statements, like starting with, I'm happy and grateful, and then fill your goal statement. And you'll see magic happening in your life with the power of affirmations. So S-A-V, the third one is visualization. Visualization is the process of imagining exactly what you want. I'm a strong believer of you know, visualization after I read this book, Creative Visualization by Shakti Govind, an old book, very powerful book. So you mentally rehearse what you want, right, every day. So we may, in, in this book say, it says we must visualize the goal and the action. It's an interesting thing because most books only talk about the outcome. Here he also asks us to visualize your daily actions to achieve that goal. So visualizing your goals and dreams clearly in your mind will attract those things to your life faster than you think. When you visualize daily, you align your thoughts and feelings with your vision. So the book recommends like five minutes of visualization every day. So pick up the most important goal, you know, something you really want to achieve. You know, see it clearly in your mind, the outcome, the actions you're going to take to achieve that. So S-A-V-E, E e is for exercise. If you don't take time for exercise, you'll probably have to make time for illness. A powerful quote from Robin Sharma. When you exercise, you know, even for a few minutes every morning, it significantly boosts your energy, enhances your health, improves your confidence level, your emotional well-being, and enables you to think better, you know, concentrate longer. There are so many benefits. You know, it's too many benefits to ignore. So make it part of your life. It can be simple, you know, aerobics or yoga or any movement, you know, anything, which whatever you enjoy, right? Just make it part of your life. The next one, R, is for reading. So reading is the fifth practice. It's one of the most immediate method for acquiring the knowledge, ideas and strategies you need to achieve success in any area of your life. The key is to learn from the experts, those who have already done what you want to do. So don't reinvent the wheel. The fastest way to achieve anything you want is to model successful people who have already achieved it. When almost, you know, there's no depth of information, you know, so many books available on every topic, right? There's no limit to the knowledge you can gain through daily reading. So Hal recommends 10 pages per day. Maybe it takes 10, 15 minutes every day. So that's our leaders are readers. Make it, make it a habit. The last one, the final S is scribing. Scribing is again, you know, my favorite one. Uh, it's the final practice in Lifesavers. Scribing means writing, okay, or journaling. You know, to make the saver word, he used the word scribing, yes. You know, you can get your thoughts out of your head and put them in writing. You can document your insights, your reflections, your ideas, your goals, your lessons learned, things you are grateful for. Right, you can just write. So personally, I write all my goals every day. Right, it's so powerful, it's magical. You can start with any form of writing. You know, write your goals, ideas, you know, how to achieve them, you know, all those kind of things. So to summarize, life savers will take 60 minutes approximately. You can customize it based on your need. And the sequence, it can be customized. You don't have to go in the same order. So the recommended timing is this. Five minutes of silence, five minutes of affirmation, 
फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ विजुअलाइजेशन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज ट्वेंटी मिनट्स ऑफ रीडिंग एंड फाइव मिनट्स ऑफ स्क्राइबिंग इन अप्रोक्सीमेटली मी टेक सम सिक्सटी मिनट्स ओवर ऑल दिज अ मॉर्निंग मेरेकल ऐप यू नो बेस्ड ऑन दिस टीचिंग टू ट्रैक प्रोग्रेस यू कैन इफ यूर इंटरेस्टेड यू कैन डाउनलोड द ऐप फ्रॉम यू नो ऐप स्टोर्स इट्स कॉल द मॉर्निंग मेरेकल यू नो कैन दिस सर्च सी एवरीथिंग इज डिफिकल्ट बिफोर इट्स ईजी राइट एवरी न्यू एक्सपीरियंस इज अनकम्फर्टेबल बिफोर इट्स कम्फर्टेबल the more you practice life savers every day the more natural and normal each of them will feel so i highly recommend to take this 30 day life transformation challenge by the way millions of people have taken this challenge practice you can google it out and you know read more about it so you know the moment you accept total responsibility for everything in your life is the moment you claim the power to change anything in your life an extraordinary life is all about daily continuous improvement in the areas that matter most thank you so much for watching i am srijit krishna stay happy stay healthy